For a musician, the skill to analyze what you hear is very important. When we're studying music theory and knowledge, we're learning the building blocks of music. When you know the building blocks, you can easily sing what you hear in your mind, and it helps us to communicate with other musicians. Learning the building blocks also goes together with developing our inner hearing. Inner hearing is the ability to remember sounds and imagine music in your head, and we all have it. It's the key for analyzing what we hear. Now, let's move on and learn a simple tool for that. together. It goes like this. I'll sing it first. I just want to sing. Now your turn. I just want to sing. Good. Now let's sing that again, but this time replace the lyrics with numbers. Like this. One, two, three, two, one. And your turn. One, two, three, two, one. Now one more time together. One, two, three, two, one. Good. How about adding a couple notes? Like this. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. And your turn. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Let's try creating a few little melodies by jumping around on these notes. I'll go first. One, three, four, three, one. Your turn. One, three, four, three, one. Together now. One, three, four, three, one. Good. One, two, three, five, four, two, one. One, two, three, five, four, two, one. Connecting notes with numbers like this is a great tool for learning many aspects of music theory. And heads up, we'll be using the method a lot in the future. But now, how about your inner hearing? Think about it. Can you recall and imagine those little melodies we just sang together? That is your inner hearing. Well done! You can continue to the next exercise. Well done. You can continue to the next exercise. 